I love Unran here, back on the John Deere 2510, and hopefully we're going to be installing the liners here this video. If you watched the end of the last video, we had some trouble with it. Uh, spent a bunch of time cleaning the blocks, so let's get to it. Well, everyone, we're making uh, progress here. We got the uh, crankshaft installed, as you can probably see. Got the uh, main bearings in. Also got the cylinder liners in. Uh, if you probably can notice in the video there, uh, this is flipped upside down, so I'm not sure which one two and four here again. Uh, actually, I think it should be this one here. Two, or not two and four, I'm sorry, three and four. Uh, one and two, we had no problems getting in. One and two, the liners went in pretty good. They're sitting up just a little bit, but once you push on them, they'll go back down. Three and four. I don't know what is up with three and four here, but we had all kinds of problems getting them in. They did not want to seat. But uh, we finally got them in. They seem like they're uh, in there pretty good. Again, they're kind of like the rest of them. They're holding up just a little bit, but once you put pressure on them, they, uh, they do go back down. So anyway, I'm going to start putting the uh, pistons and, of course, the uh, connecting rod bearings in. So that is going to be the next project. And of course, for that, we still need to uh, take the originals apart here. And we got all new bearings uh, for uh, wrist pins, if I recall correctly. I think that's what they're called, the wrist pins there. So we got all new uh, bearings for that. Got to push uh, the old ones out and put the new ones in. So we're probably going to start working on that. I don't know if I'll uh, video that or not. 
Uh, but yeah, we got to push all the old ones out here. That should be a bit of fun. Uh, get the new ones in and uh, start reinstalling the pistons. So yeah, there's the new uh, piston, by the way. rebuild here so far nothing can be easy the uh, wrist pins here do not fit into the uh, bearings or bushings I don't know what these are considered here uh, bearings or bushings that are in the connecting rod here yeah so that uh, probably means we're gonna have to hone those uh, bushings I was uh, checking out the uh, the kit I have here it says it includes honeable bushings for the connecting rods like really they can't just send the proper size bushings. I guess they gotta be tight enough or something, I don't know, whatever. So anyway, gonna have to order a hone here of the right size. I don't have a hone that will fit that. Uh, all my hones are like inch and a half and bigger, and this is like inch and 3 16 of course. So yeah, anyway, there sits the uh, block. Was hoping to have this uh, block more or less back together here in this video, but that of course is not gonna happen anymore. I uh, got the uh, cylinder liners in it. And the uh, crankshaft is installed as well, as well as the main bearings got that all in. Uh, like I was saying, I was hoping to uh, put the connecting rods and pistons, of course, in, get those all tightened down. And then, uh, yeah, probably actually be almost right. Actually, we have to put the flywheel on, I guess, first. And then we're ready to put it back on the tractor here and uh, start getting the rest of the uh, crap back on the motor. So, yeah, anyway, everyone, that's going to do it for now. Uh, can't go any further until we get a hone or do something with these bloody bushings uh try and see if i can you know maybe just like force it in that uh come on focus yeah that uh <clears throat> that probably was not a good idea so that's uh i don't know how much smaller these bushings are but that looks like a couple thousands ah lovely i'm just looking forward to honing out bushings for a couple thousands that was so much fun the last time we had to do it Anyway, everyone, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, uh, until next time.